Hey guys, this is Tattoo Tony, and here we are again in beautiful downtown Cairo, Illinois. Uh, this building in front of us is really cool. Um, couldn't get in it, but I wanted to give you guys a little street view. Um, this is not the main drag street, but this building's pretty cool. And uh, we're going to walk towards the Gem Theater in just a second. Uh, the Gem Theater opened its doors in 1910 and seated 685 patrons. There was a fire in 1934 that completely gutted the theater and it was rebuilt two years later in an Art Deco style including a new elegant marquee. The theater continued to operate for nearly another half century before it was closed in 1978. Today the theater sits vacant and has fallen into uh, serious disrepair. There is the gym theater in front of us. It's kind of the middle building. Here it comes. I love Art Deco buildings. By the way, there's little bit of information about this cinematreasures.org yeah. it has information about a lot of old theaters if you find the gem theater on cinematreasures.org you can see a pretty cool um, double feature program listed in the newspaper so I recommend checking out cinematreasures.org also, there will be two parts to this video. Wow. And there's worthwhile That's pretty cool. things to see in uh, both parts of the video. Say something kind of interesting. Uh, the uh, movie program I mentioned that's on cinematreasures.org looked like it was a double feature for two horror films. One of them is the indestructible Reptilicus, Reptilicus, sorry, in color. The other movie, I wasn't sure what it was, was uh, Caged in a Black Pit. It says White Slave Ship. And I realized that back then maybe the horror of this movie was being a white slave. Caged in... I, maybe not. Uh, I don't know. Caged in a black pit, white slave ship. I don't know. Go take a look at it on uh, cinematreasures.org. Look up the gym theater in Cairo and tell me what you think that movie is maybe look it up on the internet and leave me a comment here comes Andrew he forgot his tripod and had to walk back he left it out outside Something else I want to mention real quick. In one of the last videos, there was some extra footage I put up on Patreon for supporters. And uh, there were some people that commented on my channel that I've really never seen comment before who said they wouldn't subscribe to a channel that made them pay for the full explore. That's not how it works. Um, most of you guys that watch all the time know that 99.9% .9 of the videos the full explore is up um, I plan on maybe a couple times a month putting some extra footage on Patreon
for the people that help support the channel. Everybody helps support it, but they financially help support the channel. Um, I don't make money doing this. Probably lose money. A lot of wear and tear on my vehicle. Here we go into the lobby. Um, and I'm about to go upstairs. But in any case, I'd, I'd probably lose money, a lot of wear and tear on my vehicle. I know nobody makes me do this, but they're, they're generous and kind enough to help support me. So, um, or support this project. And uh, I, I send postcards out, 8x10 prints, to some subscribers. And also, you know, I like to do a little something special for them and save a little bit of footage and... You know, maybe a couple times a month I'll put a little footage up. You know, just, just to do something nice for them. Almost everything will be seen out in the channel, on the open. You know, it's, um, some people really kind of twisted the intent of that and, and put kind of snarky comments out there. I guess I'm not real worried about it because I think most people understand that, you know, if somebody's giving me a buck, you know, $5... 20 bucks a month, a couple of them. Um, you know, I've got to buy new filters for my respirator, stuff like that. I don't make a ton of money. I'm a lawn guy. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm... It's I, it's not pay-per-view, guys. So anyways, that, that just goes out there to anybody that, that... You know what? I'm not trying to cut anybody out on on seeing the stuff. You know, everybody that likes, comments, watches subscribes, shares, all those things. Uh, I appreciate all you guys. I appreciate everybody. Just thought it'd be nice to give them a little something extra. So I know most people understand that, but... I guess there was a, a few people that maybe were new to my channel that were a little bit... Uh, misguided. Now, if they would have listened to all my comments in the video, they would have realized that it was just a little something extra that I was doing to say thank you to people who helped to support the ch channel financially. So, I, I, I don't really see anything wrong with that. I just want to make that clear. I won't uh, probably mention it again. Yeah, the second part of this really has some cool stuff in it. Um, I think you guys are going to enjoy that too. I'll go down into the uh, the box office um, or the ticket booth and over to where the concession stand used to be and we'll go up on the stage. There's some old theater seats and some other other stuff. So anyways, I think you guys will you'll dig that too. And uh, I'm trying to get videos up as quick as I can to put some new stuff out for you guys. I've, I've got a bunch of footage. Um, it's 2.32 a.m. in the morning right now, and I, I really should be asleep because I've got a bunch of work around the house to do tomorrow. And uh, But, you know, I, I want to keep stuff coming for you guys, so... Uh,
should hopefully uh, sometime tomorrow be able to put the second part of this uh, video up. Anybody have any idea what kind of table this was? Did this play films or, or um, you know, collect uh, footage or, you know, film that, are, that had come off the projector? Did it wind it? Probably wound it back, you know. I, I don't know. Pretty cool little table, though, you know, that's interesting. If anybody on my channel used to work in a theater, uh, and knows just what that is. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of sure maybe it wound reels back or some, you know, reel winder. I don't know. God, I, w I wish places like this were open around me still. I wish they weren't sitting in disrepair. Cairo does not have a movie theater. Closed in 1978. It's too bad it couldn't stay open. That kind of table there. Maybe that's where they set out their uh, film. And there's those kind of spool things um, sitting along that post. Maybe, maybe somebody knows. see a bracket there with a couple white plastic things on that table that look like uh, you know film would have went rolled across those but uh yeah anyways what I was saying about uh, the uh, extra footage stuff earlier you know, I don't want to focus on negative stuff um, you know, it's, it's not really directed towards anybody in particular, so, um, I guess if people just keep, you know, not, not people, but, you know, if I see particular individuals that just leave negative comments all the time, uh, maybe we'll just, um, keep them from commenting. There is a handy button where I can have had some people say some pretty terrible, you know, make racist remarks or different things like that on the channel and stuff that I, I just don't need, you know. And there's this hide button that's really cool. I can just hide their comments forever. It's, uh, this is the projection room, it's pretty cool, but it is amazing how people will say things on the internet to other people and make remarks that I highly doubt they would just walk up to people in public and say,
that's part of a wheelbarrow. Not, not sure how that got up here. One of these things doesn't belong. And I think it's the wheelbarrow top in, in the balcony at the movie theater. Yes, I watched Sesame Street. Wow, she's going crazy. I wonder if they had any uh, late night shows that had a uh, risque little pieces of footage like that. Thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys are great. Um, I appreciate all your support and help. Here's our contact information, Andrew's in the red. I really suggest looking at Focus Grimm and 30 Grain on Instagram. He puts up awesome photographs um, from these buildings. He releases them, you know, maybe one a day or two a day, something like that. But you'll eventually see some fantastic photos, so make sure you go there. Thanks a lot, guys.